Let's get started with the Connect Desktop app. The app is designed with two main purposes in mind. One is for assistive purposes, to help with reading, understanding and learning. The other is productivity, to be more efficient collecting or transcribing printed content, both text and numbers. At first start, you're guided through some initial settings. To make the app more accessible, it is possible to have the headers read out aloud by clicking on them. Choose your preferred usage of the application. Look out for the speaking icon. The app is designed for several different languages. Select your preferred one. If selecting Start Minimized in Traybar, the application window will not show when it started. Instead, it will start silently and only be visible as an icon in the tray bar. The tray bar is located in the lower right corner of your screen. Application theme allows you to set the application theme. High contrast sometimes makes details easier to see. Application size is an overall scaling of the app. Make it larger or smaller based on your preference. To optimize your reading, select your font, font size, letter spacing and line spacing. It can be easier to focus on a word if spacing is increased. And select a dyslectic font if that makes it easier to access the text. Text can be automatically read out aloud when scanned. If your main purpose is to use CPEN Connect as an assistive reader of single words, it's normally preferred to have this feature activated. If you want to listen to full sentences or paragraphs, or not at all, it is preferred to disable this feature. CPEN Connect and this app support several scanning and reading languages. Use scanning language to set your primary reading language. The voices available are the voices that comes with the language packs installed on your computer. If your Windows version and keyboard layout is English, you will most likely only have an English voice available here. To support reading of different languages, please refer to the documentation of your operating system on how to install additional language packs. Continue to set volume and talking speed. Click on the example sentence to try your settings. This is an example sentence. Make sure you have your CPEN Connect available. Power it on by pressing the power button for 4 seconds, then release. Wait for the LED to turn from flashing green to flashing blue. Now click on Find my pen. Once your pen shows up, click on the Connect button to connect. Please make sure you only have one CPEN Connect nearby the computer in blue flashing LED mode. If there are many, all will show up. If your pen has been connected once, it will show up next time to make it easy to know which pen to connect to. Note that it is always the computer that connects to the pen. If the pen changes to standby mode, the link between the pen and the computer is automatically re-established when the pen re-enters normal mode. If the pen has been powered off, connection need to be activated from the computer when the pen is turned on again. Now, let's start. Scan some text. If the automatic reading is on, the text is read out immediately. When you make the time and effort to give your loved ones the attention they deserve, everyone wins. This can be turned off in settings. To re-listen, position the cursor on a word and right-click, or click on the play symbol at the bottom. When you make the time and effort to give your loved ones the attention they deserve, everyone wins. Or right-click on the word and select action. Spacing and other visual changes are easily applied. It is also possible to save the scanned text as files, which can be reopened later at any time. To use the CPEN keyboard, open another app, open Word and scan some text. This is great for productivity and collaboration. If you want the text read out aloud automatically when scanned, just enable it in the app settings. Enjoy using your CPEN Connect!